Hi all and thanks for watching. In this video I'm just going to go over how to add EMB with sweet effects to your XCOM enemy unknown and enemy within. And the first thing you're going to want to do is after installing the game and verifying that it is running, you want to go to the mod page here. And I will leave the link under the video in order to download the mod. Now, once you're at the mod page here, you just want to click the download now. And then just save the file. And open that file up. Now, once you've got the file downloaded, just minimize the browser. And you're going to go over to your XCOM Enemy Unknown here in Steam. Now, it is available on GLG. So, if you're on GLG, you just go to this PC, the C drive, program files, and you want to go to GLG Galaxy and Games. And that's where you'll find it listed if you're using the GLG version. Now, I'm using the Steam version, so what you're going to do is just go to the game in the list here, right-click, select Properties, Local Files, and Browse Local Files. Once you've done that, just close this up, and here is the game folder. Now, what you want to do in order to install it into the Enemy Unknown is go to the Binaries, Win32, and you're just going to drag and drop these files into the game folder. Now, I've already placed mine, so I'm going to replace the files in the destination, whereas your files will just go right in. Okay, now to do enemy within, you want to go back to your XCOM enemy unknown folder, go to the XEW, and to the binaries in the Win32. And you want to do the same thing. Just drag and drop those files into the folder. And again, I already placed them, so I'm just going to replace my files, whereas yours will go right in. And then just minimize that. And minimize your game folder. Start the game. And make sure that it's working in each one of them. So you just want to start the game when the game starts you should see the emb is running in the upper left corner and once the game is started and you've seen that then you just want to hit the pause break in game in order to enable and disable the effects and you should actually get kind of a picture like this as you can see these are split screens and this is the standard game here. Here's with the EMB and sweet effects. And as you can see, it kind of clears up that haze, gives you a nice look to the game, much more natural colors. And here it is without the split screen. And as you can see, the pictures are nice and sharp. The colors are coming through quite nicely. And the overall game itself looks really nice. Now, if you find that everything's running fine and you're not having any problems, the pause break is working in game, then just go ahead and play your game and you should be all set. These are the settings that I was using originally. I'm now using 4K settings, although when I originally made this, I was doing 2K settings here. As you can see, I was running it on high and everything was coming out quite nice looking. So, as I said, if you are all set and everything's running correctly, then just go ahead and enjoy your game. Now, I mentioned the GOG game folder, and it's the exact same thing. Just place it into the XCOM enemy unknown binaries, Win32, and the XEW binaries, Win32, and that should install it for you on GOG too. Now, I'm just going to go over a bit of troubleshooting should you have any issues after installing the mod here. So what you want to do if you have any difficulties, whereas the game's not running after installing it, then what you want to do 
is just go down to the troubleshooting here. And there's a few things that you can do. Now, you can replace the D3D9 with one of the alternates provided. Let me just show you that. So what you can do here is just go into the Alt D3D9 folder and there's four of them listed. The Black Mesa is the one in use right now. So what you would do is just go through the alternates and copy that D3D9 and then just go back and paste it over top of the existing one and then try the game out again and see if the alternate D3D9 will work for you. Now, if you can't get any of the D3D9s working and you're an NVIDIA user, you can use this mod by Glycium. And you just click here and go to the mod. And what you wanna do is just download this D3D9 and check the docs here. And what you do is you rename the existing D3D9, the one that's in the game folder right now, to D3D9 Original, or sorry, D3D9 Orig DLL. And then you just copy this one from this mod into the game folder with the others. Once you've done that, then start the game and the game should be run. Now, if that doesn't work, you can also try downloading the D3D9 update to make sure that you have all your direct X9 files all installed. And you just want to go to the download the DX9 final release, and you can install that there. Okay. And usually it, going through those three steps will correct any issue with the mod and get it running properly for you. Now, if you want to do any alterations to the preset, I'll just go through that quickly. And all you want to do is if you want to alter the preset for the regular game or the other game, you just go to the given folders, the Win32 folder, and you go to the Sweet Effects folder here and the presets and you want to alter this one. This is the original one that I had, although I've made some improvements to it. So you're going to be editing this one, XCOM Enemy Unknown TXT. And you can alter the settings there and customize it however you prefer. And the same thing goes for the enemy within. Just go into the XEW binaries in the Win32 the suite effects and the presets. And again, make alterations to that file there. Now, if you wanted to use different presets, which you can use the 1.5 presets from the suite effects. And I'm just gonna search it here, but I'll actually just leave a link to the actual site. So suite effects, presets. Okay, so here's the Sweet Effects database. Now, if you wanted to alter the presets, you can go through here and look for XCOM. Let me just do a search. And here we have Enemy Unknown in Within. So you just want to go there. And as you can see, there's the 1.5, 1.3. So those are the ones that you're going to use. The 2.0 is actually for the reshade with Sweet Effects. So you're going to want to use the 1.5 and below. And you would just download that. And we'll just download this one here. Let's see. Download shader. Okay. So we're going to download this and then open it. Oh, sorry, I opened my other file there. Oh, oh, I see, this is the shader package, not the preset. Okay, 
So let's see. So basic, here we go. And you just want to download the preset. You can look over the preset settings here. So we'll download an alternate preset. And I'll just save that. And then we'll open that up. Okay, so as you can see, the name of it is different. So what you have to do is in order to replace this preset here, you want to copy the name, rename the download, and then you just want to drag it and drop that into the folder. Now you can rename this one here. So let's just put old at the end and we'll say yes. And then just drag and drop that into there. And now you've switched over to this alternate preset. So that's how you do the presets. And I will leave a link also to the Sweet Effects setting database here. Okay. Now, I've gone over installing, troubleshooting, and altering your presets if you would like. Now, if there is anything else, just let me know, and I can try and address that, um, whether through the comment comments, or I can try and make a, a follow-up video, whichever you prefer, okay? So that's basically a rundown on getting the mod set up and getting into game, having everything run the way that you'd like. And these are fully customizable, so you can alter the effects as you'd like. All right, so now that we've made sure that everything is running correctly and that all the effects are running correctly, you can close off everything here and just start and play your game. Okay. Now, if there are any questions or concerns, just let me know in the comment section below. Otherwise, thanks a lot for watching.